Hi, I'm Emily and I'll be telling you how to express wishes in English. So firstly, a wish is something that we want to happen, but that is impossible or is very unlikely to happen. We can talk about wishes for the past, the present or the future. So let's start by talking about how to express wishes for the future. This can be a wish for the immediate future or a long-term wish. To talk about wishes for the future, we follow this pattern. Subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject and then we add could or would and uh, the infinitive form of the verb. We use could when it's a wish about something that we want to be able to do and would for wishes about things that we just want to happen. For example, I wish I, that baby would stop crying. We use would because it's a wish about something we simply want to happen. We want the baby to stop crying. So we say, I wish that baby would stop crying. We want the baby to stop crying anytime in the future, preferably immediately. <laughs> in another example, I wish I could fly. I want to be able to fly. So I say, I wish I could fly. What about, I wish I could visit Paris. We want to be able to visit Paris. So I say, I wish I could visit Paris. Anytime in the future, I wish I could visit Paris. And finally, I wish it would stop raining. So this person wants it to be sunny. It's raining and he wishes it would stop raining. I wish it would stop raining. Another way of saying this is, I wish the sun would come out. So this means a very similar thing. I wish the sun would come out. So that's future wishes. What about things we wish were happening right now? Well, those are present wishes. And the way we talk about present wishes is to say subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject, and then we add a verb in the past tense. So for example, we can say, I wish I had more money. Had is past tense. This person wants to have more money right now. So they say, I wish I had more money. Or, Sarah wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. Sarah's tire is flat. She does not know how to fix a flat tire. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. So knew is in the past tense. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. And she wishes she knew that right now. We wish we were at the beach. We're not at the beach. We want to be at the beach. So we wish we were at the beach. And you'll notice that were is in the past tense. Now, the verb to be is actually a little bit tricky because when we talk about wishes, we, we leave all persons as using were. We don't use was. So instead of saying, I wish I was happy, we would say, I wish I were happy. But many native speakers will say, I wish I was happy. And many people will tell you that it is correct to say, I wish I was happy. So you can say, I wish I was happy, was being the past tense of to be, but it is grammatically correct to say, I wish I were happy. So just remember that you should be saying, I wish I were happy, but that everyone will understand you if you say, I wish I was happy. Okay, what about wishes about things that have already happened? Those are past wishes. And the way we talk about past wishes is to say, to use the subject plus the correct form of the verb wishes plus the second subject plus had plus the past tense. So this is actually um, the past perfect tense. Okay, so um, for example, we can say, I wish the teacher had given me an A+. Plus. Let me just, there we go. The teacher has given the person, the student, a C, so this has already happened, but I wish the teacher had given me an A+. Plus. The teacher can't give me an A+, plus now. The, I wish the teacher had given me an A+, plus in the past. What about, 
I wish I had remembered my hat. So, I have not remembered my hat. I have forgotten my hat. But, I wish I had remembered my hat. So, we use had and then the past tense. In another example, we could say, I wish you had told me earlier that you weren't coming. In this example, perhaps one person has arranged a lovely dinner, but the other person has called at the last minute, called very late, just before the dinner, and said, sorry, I can't come. The first person might reply, I wish you had told me earlier that you weren't coming. All right. So those are the ways to express wishes in the present, past, and future tenses. Here's a little bonus for you. Ba -bum! Another way of expressing wishes is to use the expression if only. You can use if only in almost the same way as using I wish. It means almost exactly the same thing. It's just another way of expressing things that you want to happen, but that won't happen or impossible to happen. So, for a future wish, we could say, if only he would smile. We want him to smile. If only he would smile. Or, for a present wish, something we wish were happening right now, we could say, if only we had a cat. Meow, meow. Finally, if we're expressing a past wish, we could say, if only he had studied harder. He's got three out of ten. If only he had studied harder. And that's how you express wishes. I hope you've enjoyed this and learnt a lot. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks a lot.